Hi artist friends, I'm Blake. Welcome to Kitchen Counter Abstract. So you may have noticed this painting behind me here um, in some of my shots. And I did this painting a few months ago. It's not one of my favorite paintings I've ever done, but there are a lot of things I like about it. And those are the things that I'm gonna try to recreate in today's session. Now I'm not gonna try to recreate this painting, but what I am gonna do is try to recreate the things that I like about it. And some of the things that I like about this painting are the amount of white space is nice. Uh, that's always hard to get, believe it or not. I think it's got good value. It's got darks, uh, mediums, and lights. I think the composition is interesting enough that the eye can travel around without stopping or getting stuck. It also has some line work that I think is kind of fun and playful. Getting here is not easy and stopping here is not easy too. Luckily I stopped when I did because I walked away. I could have easily kept going, but I walked away and I came back and I said, okay, this painting is done. Recreating this kind of thing is not gonna be easy. I'm gonna struggle, you'll see. There's this balance of being Zen and letting go of control and also in the back of my mind understanding that I have to fulfill all of these things like make it a good composition and push back my values and make sure I'm pushing and pulling my palette so it's not too rainbow. And the reason I sit here every day and paint at my kitchen counter is really to hone my tools, my skills, so that hopefully one day it's getting easier. It'll just sort of flow and I won't have to think too much about maintaining all of these criteria it takes to make a good painting. So today I will be rotating through two paintings. I'll be using paper and a variety of media and I'll probably struggle a bit, so wish me luck.
So usually I only take about an hour or less to take a break from the art. Uh, I walk away from it and then when I come back I have fresh perspective. But yesterday's painting session was a little tiring and I was getting kind of frustrated and maybe a little bored. So I knew that I needed longer than an hour. I decided to sleep on it and um, this morning I'm having some coffee and while I have my coffee I am allowing those pieces to flatten. A great way to flatten art if it's on paper is to take a wet paper towel and wipe down the back of the artwork and then layer it between two pieces of wax paper. From there you can lay heavy books or a board on top of it and let it sit for uh, 20 minutes or an hour. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit easier moving forward now. I kind of have a, a rhythm going and I'm just going to finish my coffee and get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.